this is just gonna be a very very short video for me to record I'm in the middle of the work I'm doing some stuff here now there's a lot of stuff I gotta finish uh, reviewing the items which I have even purchased and so on it's not easy stuff to do because I'm recording absolutely everything from A to Z when you open charge and all that stuff all the goody uh, but this is very very important for me uh, to declare to the British police to the British police it's important for me to declare to Interpol it's important for me to declare this to International Police Association uh, I don't know about European Court for Human Rights in Strasbourg I think it's gonna be a police over there when this when this gets into the full motion this is gonna be very very bad uh, for European Parliament in Brussels and European Court for Human Rights in Strasbourg not to mention the issues that are going to be concerning Washington DC White House American Congress it's going to be very very bad you know who this guy I met the other day when I went a few months ago to apply actually I don't know I know that Elite's got my video translated. It's the video in respect to December the 20, 2022. It's a really hell of a video. I explained a lot of stuff uh, that went on. Uh, but actually that's just the tip of the surface, which elites know about it. It goes much, it runs much, much, much deeper. The psychiatrist Peter Kops harassed with police about my taking job how if I take job my father is gonna die uh, basically they conditioned me employment with father is care at home if you're gonna take employment um, Right in front of me, indirectly, they exchange ideas about would you do this if you had a father, if you have an elderly father like this. And they all the time insisted about the system is going to get rid of him and this and that. Right in a turn when my father left to hospital and from there to home for elderly people, I got two job offers from like two or three employers here in the area who reminded me of torture and of what I stated here. Now I yet have to release another video with audio translated first to Slovenian language then to English and it's, I still have to do the other one in English. When meeting individual I was reminded on how I'm gonna be literally explaining about the spine breaking issues uh, this is abuse that is a little bit too much cancer and spine breaking issues were ideas of psychiatrists Peter Kops, Slovenian police not only Pollocks um, if you would take a job literally they rehearsed a trash bag. I have video recorded stuff, I just didn't put this stuff online yet, but it's all video recorded. Uh, at the edge of the road, repeated to me several times, it's just going to be enough to pay for the taxes. It's just going to be enough, it's just going to be a payment for the state that's going to collect the money for the taxes, for the house and stuff like this. You're going to see how it is to work. You're going to work for nothing, for free, for shit. This is the motivation that psychiatrist Peter Kapsch gave me, but it gets worse than that stuff. You know, when I mentioned earlier, British police, the man whom I have met afterwards when I went to the police station, you know, you're either going to take, apply for a home care for your father, we're going to give you a check. Yeah, the police was the one that insisted how I should apply for a home care uh, to take to to take care of my father at home, and it would be a father's pension that would go to me instead to somebody else, and this and that. 
and you would have a job and at home and you would be with a father and uh, you know take care of one and so on and so forth um, this police officer whom I had met because the hospital deliberately declined me a medical file uh, with intention for me to go to the police. So they, this, they do the dots like this so that, that they arrange the meetings with the people and so on. And these dots are very violent, you know. This police officer, very, very special police officer, because Prince Andrew told me, he said to me, this is a psychopath, this police officer. It's not a nice police officer, it's a psychopath, maniac, who just like psychiatrist Peter Kops have decided he's going to cash his police license, his badge, basically. That's what psychiatrist Peter Kops told me he's going to cash the psychiatric license. This police officer, however, was told that if it's going to come worse to worse, it's going to be British royals, they're going to take him to Britain. He stay. He alone stayed with me. He's not afraid. You know who this guy is. This guy was using me. He would make a phone call to the people involved in MK Ultra, and would announce himself with other police officer, with another one or two police officers. Uh, it would be actually a lot of people that would walk back and forth, this and that, in like in a groups, but. Yeah, these people would always have a back up more police and so on. But and these are police officers. Usually you would go about maybe I and another three guys, basically. But they were going inside of the homes, private homes. He would make a phone call, like before Christmas, let's say. Right? I went walking and I recalled, you know, watching those Christmas lights. I recalled houses where they had me in. And he would make a phone call to these people. Then uh, these people would prepare a, a household, home, uh, for visits. And those visits were usually at night, in the evening, afternoons, whatever. Difficult to even spot me or whatever. So it doesn't matter. What matters here is this was a special, special, special police officer. And this is for the British police. This stuff is not okay. This stuff is not going to be okay. I will request from you, from your law enforcement, a swift action against British royals. This individual was working straight, straight, directly. You understand? It was time when he would be working through a commander here, through a director, directors of Novomesto Police with Milan Kuchan with Milan Kuchan since 1995 and he became his personal a fucking messiah that would have his phone on all the fucking time and in the evening hours we would be meeting people from Ljubljana which also including one was Milan Kuchan whom they would give like this from all the people that we would enter inside of the private homes, it was like this. You know what the fuck this guy was doing? This guy was using me to kill the people around here. He is drop. He espionaged for the Milan Kuchan, for Borutka, Pahor, for Vladimir Putin, for Alexander Vucic, for the Serbia, for the Chetniks. In private homes here, Slovenian people, they were motivating and helping me out. You understand why you will do this? No, you don't understand yet. Because I didn't get there yet. This guy was a psychopath. He was a violent thug. But he had a different kind of violence. He got into physical confrontations with the people here and there. But his specialty really was destroying things behind the back of someone. And before that, he would whisper you and demonstrate you when drugged up how he's going to do it. That was his specialty. And it was Prince Andrew who stated, right here inside of his room, next to him. Because I told him that I'm going to beat him up to the hell, to the pulp. 
And he said, no, you're not going to be capable to do that. He is taller than myself. He's a big guy. Uh, it was Prince Andrew who started to talk to him and back and forth, all nervous, and, and stated to me, yeah, we can, we can let him hit you one time to the police officer. One time you're going to be allowed to hit him. Do you understand why I will push for the criminal procedure against the British lawyers? Why you, British law enforcement, are going to be held liable, held liable, if you're not going to confront these criminals at Buckingham Palace? The one who is paying for the crime against me, literally, these are your British royals. It's not pleasant. You don't understand what the fuck you're dealing with. This stuff is not pleasant. It's not a good stuff. Look, yesterday I said to myself, I'm going to demonstrate you how the fuck it goes. I said to myself, uh, here, uh, cleaning this place, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, Look at this shit here. Yesterday I said to myself, I'm not going to clean this here because it doesn't make sense for me to clean this because it's always going to be... Look, look what the fuck is this today. It was yesterday I did this shit. Do you see what the fuck is this? Somebody came and uh, this here, this stuff here. Let me explain something. I didn't even have this shit here. Somebody appears was fucking biting as it would be fucking biting the, um, I don't know how you say that stuff. Okay, do you understand who the fuck this guy is now? When I demonstrated to you this, I hope I did demonstrate it to you. But let me take this box out. Do you understand who the fuck this guy, this police officer is? Do you understand why I told you this is a psychopath? This is a psychopath. It's a mentally ill maniac. This is work of a lunatic here. This here. This is work of the lunatic. This here. That's all the fuck I gotta see. And I can tell you that this here. This. This shit. This stuff. This. This shit is not even that he would take this from the box where I... Um, I, um, I was vacuuming this stuff, or from the vacuum. This shit is this here. However, he took time to scrap this. Do you see what the fuck I'm saying? You see what this shit is? This is sick. This is sick shit. Would you want to have a pal, magic pal like this, getting inside of your fucking room? your private area and, and be doing stuff like this to you? you your being a knowledge is mentally ill and have a motherfucker coming to you inside of your premises like this? Private premises to the damage like this? You know what the fuck I'm doing now? I'm drowning in a fucking crime. The day before yesterday, this very police officer I'm talking to you about, and it's all audio recorded, had his magic friend who appeared On the same fucking day, I released the video about cleaning of the room. It was Prince Harry that posted at Express UK. I'm gonna catch up with that stuff about dirty, filthy, something headline news at Express UK. That's where I take, um, you know, that's basically where I take uh, all the, um, Yahoo or Express UK. It's basically where I take date and time, those kind of issues. Are oh, you listening to me? Very good. I'm just getting myself ready to test the hard drive, and it's a very bad stuff because it was again police that had the scenarios. Basically, I'm repeating the all the shit that they did to me during MK Ultra torture. It's not pleasant. Two days ago, this individual had another individual who came in my face 
um, to talk to me about uh, how it's a bad situation in Slovenia and it's going to go all to hell if a few of us are not going to come together and start the revolution, basically. I'm not interested in any fucking revolution. I'm not interested in any of that stuff. Uh, and I reminded him of whom he is friend with. And it was the police who told me for that meeting, for exactly that meeting, that it was a police patrol. This entire police station, no one has to participate in this. Every fucking police officer did. Maybe some young police officers didn't, but that you're not going to go and talk to him about by any chance about revolution when he's going to try to do this to you, la 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 la. Because, you know, he did not succeed after he did this shit. You know, they said, we're going to try to come there on time and uh, warn you about it. Here you're going to see us. After he failed, they appeared. It is all audio recorded, this stuff. Listen. I'm drowning in a fucking crime. Every step I make out of the house, I am followed. And they try to set me up with all kinds of stuff. I am hardly catching up to put this shit online on the internet the crime i'm talking about you can be fucking serious about calling yourself law enforcement police in britain when you literally have prince andrew and king charles giving a specific orders to the police to the law enforcement in slovenia on what exactly precisely type of damage they want them to cause to me to see basically how I perform for the purposes of what they think it's about is going to be seen as evaluation. You can't be fucking serious about this. Calling yourself a police. Do something about it. I told you who this man is, what kind of people these are, and uh, they are not people according to the British says. You're not people according to the majority of the British. I don't think you should have a specific people within your state, within your country, that have the right to engage in a crimes like this against the foreigners. To make myself clear, I am not British. I'm native to Slovenia, but also American citizenship I obtained in the year 2000. These people ruined my life. Your British royals. You have to do something. You have to assist me. You have to help me out with this. It's not a good situation. I am hardly catching up with all the crime that I'm to place online. You knew about this crime since 1995 that went on, and you need to act. Thanks for watching this video. Now you also know who the police officer is, and you also know who is paying for it all, who even have assured one. He's got a son already. Probably now he's about maybe 18 years old. I remember that. He's got two kids, I think. One is son, is probably 18 years old, maybe even older, I don't know. Who was telling me, in fact, how good things he heard about me from his daddy. But it's all gonna... Yeah, I was like a 14 years old, 12 years old. You know, 16, 18 years old now. It's all gonna depend on me how he's gonna see me about basically based on what I'm gonna talk about his daddy. His daddy did a lot of bad stuff. And I think the worst stuff that he did is the stuff that I told you about who this guy was. The stuff he was doing in the evening hour at night when people couldn't see, when people couldn't take pictures of it, video record it. That's the bad stuff.
straight with the Milan Kuchan, who would pay visitations from Ljubljana. They were taking visitations, sometimes even every day. They would come down. It was a police, it has a lot of police, vehicles around them, and they would be meeting on a specific locations. With me, this is not okay. This is illegal. This is criminal. Slovenia should be constitutional democracy. But the country was hijacked. This little country was hijacked. Uh, not only have I lost American citizenship, but I was deprived of my native citizenship in Slovenia. You need to do something about it.